Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed the Sand, and this is chapter 10 of Fill Me Up, Inner Warrior. And what I wanted to talk to you about today was about um, just that, filling, filling ourselves up. Um, and um, just finding that, like, we've made it, you know, we, we've, we've come to full bloom. We've made it through the frost. We've made it through the, um, through the, the heat and the winds and the rains and the, and the frosts and we've made it. And, um, we got to that final point that, that full bloom and, um, we just have to just enjoy Enjoy the ride, enjoy the the, the procedure, um, the process, and um, yeah. So I was just thinking about, you know, like finally feeling like you've made it, like you you've become, um, and you don't have to struggle. You can just relax and 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 be and be in the present moment and. Um, so that process of struggle and release, tr struggle and detachment, and struggle and all that has kind of come to a head where we don't have to struggle. We can just relax and enjoy our, our time with God. Um, yeah, so that's what I was thinking about today and kind of a good way to end this chapter. And... Um, as of tomorrow, I'll be in a new place, so I might not put a couple of videos out anymore, and it's not like anybody's really interested in the videos anyway, um, but it does really help me um, with my process in life because I am at this, this place where, you know, I'm a people pleaser. I want to make people happy. I want to never disappoint anybody or make them feel bad about situations. And if they do feel bad, I'll be the first to apologize and say, I'm sorry that happened. I'm sorry that if I had any part in that, I'm sorry, you know, and kind of that over apologizing. Um, so I have a problem with, with attaching myself to other people's uh, disappointment, especially in me, if they're disappointed in me. Um, I will apologize for that immediately, and uh, so I have to learn how to just be and be in the present and say, you know, I'm sorry that this happened. I'm sorry that, you know, I'm not what you want me to be, but I am who I want to be and who I am becoming and who I am developing into. And, um, if that disappoints you, I'm sorry, you know, I, I have to learn how to say, stop saying it, I'm sorry for everything. And, um, yeah, so that's, uh, where we're at today. These are the Star Moon Tarot cards, and I picked three cards, <clears throat> one for the present, one for the past and one for the future. So the first one is for the past. And we just kind of pick whichever card kind of pops out at me. And I'll set the intention of change and moving and becoming um, planted where, where we belong. <coughs> Excuse me. And it is justice, and it says fairness, truth, clarity, equality, balance, cause and effect, law. Very nice card for the past. And now for the present, I will say the Lord's Prayer to help, to help pick the card for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. All right. Oh, of course, it went way under the table. I'll be right back. And it is the emperor. And it says, res respect, leadership, stability, structure, rules and power, authority, father figure, focus, protection, control, disciplined, and practiced. Love it. Very nice card. Very powerful cards we have today. And then the third card is from Mother Mary. Um, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And, whoop. The card we picked was the Seven of Swords, and it says betrayal, deception, theft, dishonesty, getting away with something, acting strategically, trickery, and fraud. So, how I perceive the past, present, and future are we have to be careful not to trust always you know like we have to have our guards up at some time and this card in the past says use your intuition to set your moral compass the emperor says open your space with confidence and the Seven of Swords says, the, be on guard against deceit and concealment. So I like those cards, especially the future card where it's like, just be on guard. You don't have to like think that there's going to be deceit coming your way um, or people trying to intentionally hurt you in any way. But be on guard to make sure that you nip that in the bud and you are clear with your conversations um, and clear with your words, clear with your intentions to say, I am light, I am goodness, I am at peace with who I am, I am in the present moment. And if you can't honor that for me, then I have to put my not walls up but put my guard up to say I don't need fake deceit and you know concealment and lies and I don't need that in my life I need goodness in my life I need har harmony in my life um, I need truth and um What's another word? Um, just, just goodness in my life. So, all right. Well, I hope everybody has a great day and I will see you in the new place.